Yes, we got crock pot Wednesday. You spoke and I listened. Welcome to Homestead Tessie. Today I'm proud to announce a new segment on my channel and it is called Crock-Pot Wednesday. Every Wednesday I'm going to come to you from the kitchen and we are going to make a Crock-Pot meal. So let's get started with our very first Crock-Pot Wednesday video. It's going to always be in the frugal category because let's face it most of us Money is tight, and so you want to have frugal ways to feed your family. Today's crock pot meal is coming from a page that I had scanned way back when in the library. I do not know at all what book this came from. In fact, I wish I knew because I would buy the book. But it is called Slow Cooked Bacon and Beans. And I'm going to add a twist to it. To make this a full meal, we are going to add a little bit of ground beef to it. I'm going to read the directions to you. So, this slow cook bacon and beans is for six hours on low cook. We're going to have one package of bacon, one cup of onions, two cans of pork and beans undrained, one can of kidney beans rinsed and drained, one can of butter beans rinsed and drained, and one can of lima beans rinsed and drained. To that, we're going to add one can of black beans rinsed and drained, one cup of brown sugar, one half cup of cider vinegar, one tablespoon of molasses, two teaspoons of garlic powder, and a half teaspoon of ground mustard. So let's get started. Now, like I always do, I am going to have a few variations because I have things in my pantry that I use. This is my old and trusty crock pot. This is the only crock pot that I have. And I got it free along the curb many years ago. And it works really good. It's actually a roaster and a crock pot. But I use it for the crock pot. So let's get all the beans together and I'll get them and I'll show you what it looks like when we get that. Alright, so we have our beans drained. It is black beans and kidney beans and lima beans. Those all came from my pantry. It's very, very pretty casserole as well because of the different shades of colors in it. Now we're going to add one can of my baked beans. Now it calls for two 15 ounces. I'm only going to use one of my home canned baked beans. I think so. It's Because this meal, I'm kind of breaking it down a little smaller than what it calls for because it's only my husband and I, and this is a lot of beans. Now, we do like eating leftovers. Okay, so now we got the beans all in. Now we're going to add our ingredients to it. The onion I sauteed with my ground beef, so that is already on the stove, and we will add that to the end. So we're going to add one cup of brown sugar. So this is a third cup, so I'm going to add three of these. Now some of you are going to say, once again, this seems rather sweet. You can cut back on the brown sugar because it does call for molasses as well. This is exactly what the recipe says, and I usually follow the recipe. To that, it's going to count for one tablespoon of molasses. If you can, by all means, have molasses, you should have it. Molasses is high in iron, so it, it is good for you. It is a sweetener. Yes, it is a sweetener, so those of you who are diabetic. But for those of you who do not have any health issues, molasses is very good for you. In moderation, of course. Two teaspoons of garlic powder. This year, I'm really hoping to be able to uh, have more garlic powder that's my own. This is store-bought. And then it calls for one half teaspoon of mustard. 
So it calls for half a teaspoon of mustard. I'm just going to do a pinch and a little more. And then it calls for half a cup of apple cider vinegar. We are not that big fans of apple cider vinegar here, but it calls for a half cup. My daughter makes it with a half cup, but I only use a third cup. That's all uh, with the preference. Now, what I'm going to do is show you. It calls for a package of bacon. That's a lot of bacon, and I use turkey bacon. So we're going to use a half a package of turkey bacon. Because turkey bacon has a lot less fat, we hardly ever eat bacon here. So we're going to use a half a package of the bacon, and then we're going to use a half a pound of ground beef. Now, it doesn't call for ground beef, but my daughter started doing it with ground beef because then it makes it a full meal and not just a side dish. So, now i just got to add the half a package of bacon that is already cooked. So we need to go ahead and fry up the bacon. And I will show you what it looks like when I'm done with the bacon. It's very tasty. It's a very good meal. So let me add the bacon and I'll get back to you. All right, so the crock pot meal is ready to start cooking. And in the meantime, we are going to make cast iron skillet cornbread. And I'll show you how I make my cornbread. I'm going to make the corn biscuits. And I'm using the recipe in the back of Martha Washington's uh, Stone Ground Corn Meal. So let's get started and we'll make it and I'm going to add a little something different to it. So it calls for two tablespoons of cooking oil and one and one third cup of milk. Now I'm only using one and one fourth cup of milk because I'm adding some corn to my cornbread. I'm actually adding some real corn to it. So we add two tablespoons. So we're going to take the two cups of the flour, the cornmeal. So we're going to have the two cups of cornmeal in our bowl. That's exactly two cups that are left. And we're going to add that to, I'm going to add one tablespoon of sugar. That's op optional, but I will add the sugar to it. I think it gives it a much better flavor. So we're going to add the sugar to it. Now I know all of you from the South are going to say, oh my goodness, this is not how you make it. I apologize, but this is how we like it here. And I think a lot of the people in the North kind of eat it the same way that we do. I could be wrong. Um, one and one third cup of milk. Now I only added one and one fourth cup of milk because I'm going to add some corn to it and that's a little bit of liquid. So we're going to add that. Then I'm going to add just a little bit of corn. Just maybe a fourth of a can of corn. Calls for one egg. And that's all it is to it. Now the skillet is in the oven and it's heating up. So when the skillet is good and hot, we're going to pour this into the hot skillet. We're going to bake it at, I think it says 350. Let me look, make sure I got it right. Oh, it's I bake at 450. I won't bake it that hot because my oven gets a lot hotter than that. So I'm baking it at 350 and it says 20 to 25 minutes. So mine will be about 30 to 35 minutes. I have a thing about having my oven too hot. I don't know why. I've always been that way. But this is what the cornmeal looks like. Looks really good, especially when you add real corn to it. I just think it's much better. So I'll get back to you when I'll show you when we pour it in the skillet. All right, I got the pan out of the oven. Now let's put our cornmeal in it, our cornbread. I stuck a toothpick in it and it came out clean so the cornbread is ready that's what it looks like my friends really really good so there is my cornbread and I'm gonna try it let's see what it tastes like All right, my friends so I'm gonna give it a try it's really good and hot mmm 
Now that, my friends, is good cornbread. And I like it. I like it because it has actually the corn in it. Mmm. That just really adds to it. So, as soon as my beans are done, we can have some cornbread and beans. Damn. Mmm. Not too bad for this northern girl. What do you think? Mmm. -mm. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you enjoy every Wednesday's Crock Pot Wednesday. I'm going to turn this camera off so I can eat some more of this cornbread. Take care, everyone, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. And when this is finished, I'll show you what it looks like in the bowl. Bye, guys. Mm -mm. All right, the beans are done. And I'm telling you, this is a perfect meal. I'm so glad I made the cornmeal with it, the cornbread. Because take a look. This is the beans with the beef and the cornbread. Mmm. This is really good. I never made the two together, but I know in the South, people eat beans and cornbread all the time. So there you go, my friends. I hope you give this Crock-Pot Wednesday a try because this is a really good one. This is something you can take on a potluck, something you children would enjoy, and something I think you're going to love as well. Mm-mm. Just wanted to say thank you so much for watching my video and subscribing to me. It means the world to me. Love you guys and see you tomorrow.